Hi guys, I'm back with another video. So, na busy tayo sa paglalaro sa Checkmate Coronavirus Rapid Arena. So, I played a lot of games there. So, I'm back now to analyze one of my games against Bat Zurich Tubshin Tug. He's a 22, 2300 uh, player. Okay, last June 15, 2020. The whole tournament of the FCC was finished yesterday june 17 so let's get start okay so i played e4 in this position then played c6 karokan so d3 my approach is d3 there's a lot of ways we can play karokan but now i'm just contented with the d3 okay so d5 so knight d2 e5 knight f3 bishop d6 bishop e2 we could also play g3 and G to the, the Kia, the King's Indian attack, but I don't prepare this for this tournament, so I just play, want to play Bishop E2 something new, okay, in the eyes of my opponents, okay, so Bishop E2, so Bishop E6, Castle, Knight D7, okay, Rook E1, okay, virtually attacking the E5 square, okay, so put uh, after some exchanges on the pawns on the D5, okay. So he played d4. I I don't think this is I think this is too early, okay, for this for this position. He should have played knight f6 and castle. Okay, castle soon. Just maintaining the tensions on the center, okay? I think he played knight d4, so I played knight to c4. Okay? He played bishop c7. Now if you take okay capture then what will happen is white will gain two bishop and he can open the position simply by playing c3 okay he can open c3 or f4 later in the game then the two bishop will become powerful so we don't want to do that knight c bishop c7 eight a4 preventing the the, B, the b5 move okay so it prevents the b5 move okay extra defense he plays f6 uh, just a quick count if he plays b5 capture you can capture then i can just return on the d2 or a3 square attacking the b5 pawn somehow this is advanced pawn so f6 so go back f6 okay i played b3 so that i can put my bishop here and attack the diagonal okay he played e7 i delay knight h5 castle you can pause the video and what is my idea behind okay now my idea is to put my bishop on the g4 square so i played bishop g4 this is a good bishop this is a bad bishop on that square and this is a good bishop so i want to trade it i just want to trade bishop so bishop f7 again then after g6 there's another there's a new weakness on the h6 okay move back attacking this weakness attacking this weakness he moved the king there I moved the queen so I can go on that square he prevents it okay so I played bishop g3 okay he played c5 now g3 what's the idea rook f1 and f4 okay so I bus open the king side because there's a lot of weakness now on this side okay so knight b6 he wants to trade with the knight so I insist go back I can always play now a5 the knight will go back and my knight will go on the c4 okay so knight d7 so queen e2 okay so a6 rook f1 queen e7 and now i played a5 okay i missed something here okay after this position okay he moves the queen e7 find the best move later in the game i will tell you how how to play this but you have to solve it by yourself first okay so 21 a5 okay so I'm just fixing this one okay he plays bishop e6 he wants to trade now now I'll go back now he played g5 a bad move okay so these squares are becoming weak okay so that's why I played not at knight f3 but knight f5 now he made another I think a mistake Oh, not a mistake because it it's fork so f takes e takes f5 now my bishop is too powerful on this diagonal okay, look b1 
knight c4 go back to that square nobody can touch the knight on c4 rook e8 then i play bishop d5 now these two pieces are too strong okay we need to maximize our pieces so that we'll be able to gain dominance on the position now he plays knight h6 what is our next plan okay i just play g4 but there are a lot of plans available okay knight f7 i played queen f3 knight e8 king g so the idea is rook f1 and play h5 so that so that i can get an open file okay so rook h8 knight d2 transferring the knight on the much stronger square so it can attack a lot of squares okay so queen e8 so he wants to take control of this square okay i played knight e4 he played b5 now i played rook h1 i cannot take here okay if i take there then these pieces will become active okay the position will become open so i just place rook h1 he played h5 i played h3 now he takes this is the blunder okay much better is he just move the h pawn and close that position but instead he move h takes g4 i take it now he takes then after that move knight f7 then simply bishop d2 now the rook will take charge of this open file so he moves the knight there as you can see there's a lot of weakness now okay controlled by my pieces these are all weak okay including this one so that's why black is having hard time over this the position rook h8 go there queen h1 one okay, queen h3 so that i can go on this square or on this square of course there are these are weak so he moves there queen h7 so just attacking this side okay threatening this move okay knight f7 okay now i played bishop c6 okay so pin start pinning him and i want to capture that pawn so he moved the king to e7 and i played knight c5 he moves that knight so this is a combination you need to count so we can count capture capture now he's going to capture my queen okay and what will i then i have a retake on that side so sure sure so he moves back bishop e6 okay now he covers another weakness as you can see now there's a lot of weakness for him so this is the problem now the rook can t go there somewhere here okay but the knight is guarding that square so what can we do the bishop can also go here okay and attack this line so this is already winning okay capture rook take here then pawn takes then he resigned as you can see this is how we exploit some weakness this is how we exploit some weaknesses on the position so we simply do a step by step planning moving the piece forward occupying some square and provoking the opponent to make some weakness okay now we go on the position where i told you that i missed something after a5 okay so here okay after queen a7 what is the best move I played a5 which is uh, I miss something this is already winning what's the best move okay the best move is queen g4 okay so I want to put my knight there and attack this too and as and of course the bishop and queen is attacking the knight okay, oops. yeah that's the solution on that problem so I'm forking something so I want a piece here I will want a piece eventually okay so this is the game that i had i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe leave your comments and share it to others so that everyone can learn sharing is good good way to propagate chess okay thank you and have a nice day